Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon, Mark. What is happening, Bud Bellflower? Not a whole lot. Just got a little bit of laundry done. It's nice to be able to start the show at 3 p.m. rather than 10 a.m. Yeah, you like it? I do. Well, here we are. So we are on 18, 19, and 20. So we're going to get to... watch that. Yes. We're going to try to get the weekends show caught up with the weekday show now, or at least around the same area. Uh, that is mathematically impossible. Cannot do it. So we'll see how Cannot. we're going to do this. There is no Yaden emote other than the tag dudes, no. Didn't need to take up two spots. I don't know about that Bud Belfar one, though. So no, what I is... like it. It's the most stylish emote on Twitch. It is pretty stylish, I have to admit. All right, here we go. So I'm going to get this thing started. And we are on episode, let's see, where is my, da, 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 where you at? All right. And here we go to the opening of Rocky Mountain Rewind. Maybe. It didn't work. It was working. Well, how about that? It just doesn't work. Uh, I can actually answer that for you. Well, mm. man. there it is. There we go. No, actually, because that's on episode twenty-one. What are we looking at? Lilith asks, wait, do I get to see the bite? Oh, the bite, yeah, I'll be up on 21. And I would know because I have caught up. I have caught up to the weekday stuff again. There was a moment when we didn't have any sound and when uh, everyone was confused as to when Milestone 4 started, but now I got it back. Though next Sunday, if, you know, we plan on catching everybody up to the weekday version, which, you know, mathematically impossible. Yeah, we'll see how... We'll make skip a few things and get it rolling. Alright. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be so nice having all the stats in front of me. Boom. Nice and easy. But I can't bet. No, we can't bet on these, can we, since we just saw them? Well, I certainly can't because I am looking at the results. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I see these for the first time in years, I can bet, but now. Yeah. It's Ronan. All right. I'll be right back, everybody. I gotta go take care of something. You're gonna hang out with Bud for a little bit. Alrighty. Yay, Bud. Yay. Alright, I shall return. The time is right. The stars oh, stream have aligned. Labs. The name is signed on the dotted line, and the gothic superstar has finally arrived. Thank you, Pablo. Cruelly, I got plenty of them. To inject NRW with a fatal dose. All right, betting is open. We have Hunter Gray, the Nordic Nightmare, versus Ronan, the regular old Nightmare. The NRW Nation is still the vivacious really vampire. The effects of the biggest <laughs> event in Colorado wrestling history, and Milestone Four, and we are in the way for NRW charge. This is Lucas Bradwell alongside my long time broadcast partner Roberto Badia and we want to welcome our new makes me want to play Castlevania Wilcox, especially co-hosting with Mercury Aiden but four, makes me want to kill some vampires you know maybe watch Van Helsing maybe have Hunter Gray get an arm lock into the vampire while he 
very athletically kicks and flips and gymnastics his way out into getting a armbar, maybe a regular sitting armbar of his own. I don't think that'll fail the beast, but it'll certainly weaken him. Lord have mercy. In our W champion of all time, the greatest mentor of all time. It, it, 463 days, that's nothing to laugh at, nothing to sneeze about. What does Hunter Gray do? He betrays his mentor, he betrays his teacher, he betrays the champion, and now look, he thinks he's gonna do better on his own. Well, guys, we have the debut of the Gothic superstar Ronin. He has been a do -do 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 -do. star here in Colorado, making his NRW do -do -do -do. but what a debut he has going up against Man, the lighting is awful. You know, I'm very excited to see Ronan. I've heard so much about him. He's such an intense superstar. I see we saw him come out here, the crowd jumping to their feet. I'm excited to see Ronan brings the table. See, uh, Who's that? Who's, who did Ronan bring with? I, with you know, him? I That's what I'm interested in. I, I got a crew there, uh, Roberto. She's a nice looking young lady. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really into the gothic lifestyle, but I think I could uh, definitely get curious about it. I, uh, I, Definitely get curious about it. I'm sure you would be curious. Vampire goddess. Goddess? Yes. Vampire goddess. I didn't know vampires had goddesses. Haven't you watched enough Twilight? Oh man. Gracious. I don't want to admit anything that I would regret later on, so we'll go ahead and not answer that question. Plead the fifth on that one. Ronan looks a little physically overmatched right now against Hunter Gray. I like this though. Look at this. Hunter Gray really showing how tough he is here. See, Roberto, I don't think Hunter Gray can do I think he can make a path on his own and really forge his own way now. Not really, but you know, whatever. Like well, then all Let's see here. Ronan seems to have the, the momentum against Hunter Gray, but you can't pin him that easily. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to go on my own. Why does he have to cause Danger Dean the world title? Don't you think that Danger Dean was kind of taking advantage of Hunter Gray? You couldn't be more wrong, BBC Hell. My messages are blank. Me. I don't like my telephone. So I keep it as far away from me as possible all the time. Except, of course, whenever I'm hosting this show, because then everybody wants to get in contact with me. Oh well. Oh well. You're telling me Danger Dean beat Tyler Centron because of Hunter Gray? You know, I, I, I. For 460. Hunter Gray really giving it to to Ronan, tossing him around like a rag doll. I think that Hunter Gray was very. The thing I'm not taking into consideration is his supernatural powers, and I just don't. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But it seems like they're not really giving him any help right now. It must be noted that we. Hey, would you look at that? From Danger Dean. You read the rules. Loss, Goodbye. Not, no radio appearances. No, no, no contact at all from Danger Dean. What is he doing? Is he in his basement still crying? What's going on? Uh, Danger Dean is not crying. Uh, Ronan has a pretty strong win-loss record in 2014. I can actually tell you exactly his win-loss record. Uh, you are caught up to the weekdays. So this is actually his debut. He is zero and zero right now, as far as right here. Though, y'all watched this episode on Wednesday, so you're you're a couple episodes further ahead um, than the Sunday rewind. It's very confusing, and I we, we'll need to talk about that, especially because he thinks that he's going to catch up a once a week show to a five times a week show. Just like what I, the frivolity of what I just said is relative to the frivolity of Ronan trying to fell the Nordic Nightmare Hunter Gray. He finally got him to the ground, but to what cost? Yep, good night. Or the vampires say good night to each other. I guess it's the same as good morning. I don't know. Good morning, sleep tight. Don't let the garlic bugs bite, you know? I don't know. I'm not privy to vampire culture. So I don't want to appropriate it. Ooh, alrighty, alrighty. And there goes Hunter Gray with the win. 
Thunder Gray does enough damage to Ronan, he'll be d reduced to his mist form and lose by count out. Okay, so I don't know about the mist form. I don't know anything about vampires and I don't want to. Because I feel like the more I know, the more they'll attract to me. And I don't uh, torment me. I don't like it. <laughs> oh man, so it'd be a 10 hour show? To get professional no, wrestling thank you. From professionals with ties to major promotions available nowhere else. Founded in 2014 by Mercury no, he turns Fitness into bats. In support of NRW Sports Entertainment. <laughs> so then Bruce Wayne comes over and picks him up. The Mercury and Pro then, you know, offers a ah, stock eyes, on the right? Professional wrestling experience. Am, I, am I getting that right? I know I'm getting that right. Don't worry about it, guys. Cardio conditioning and much more. At the Mercury Pro that guy had a broken Academy, arm. Never noticed it till just now. Poor kid. And the opportunity to attend NRW's bi-weekly oh, live already. charged ITV tapings and major events. Great. Getting up close and personal with world class. Needs to be talent. 10 hours and one minute to eventually make up for the. Wrestling, wrestling, and the Mercury Pro Wrestling <laughs> Academy is the place for you. Located at Santa Fe and Oxford. That one minute's gonna make the difference. Now, as far as rewind episodes, y'all are only two back, so. Y'all watched this episode on Wednesday. Yes. Or, you know, a lot of y'all did. And then there was one episode on Thursday, one episode on Friday, but Super Crystal Adventure. And then, so, a day off of the rewind. And then now you got the weekend rewind. Roll the R correctly. Y'all dim-witted commentary team, it is Stefan Lecha. Demon, vampire, same thing really. Oh, okay. Oh. I only know one French term, it's all my due fromage. It means with great glory. And he just... Did he just say omelette du fromage? <laughs> oh man, yeah, Ashburn. And thank you for those bits. Thank you very much. Though this was as his debut as Stefan Lecroix. And the French phenom. And thank you for those little fox bits. Lilith Grimm the demon. You know, sometimes you just gotta let them know, Stefan. I like this guy's style. He doesn't care what the audience thinks. He's gonna speak his mind. Y'all see Dak Draper in the corner. You're going to see him ooh, in the main event of this episode, actually. Since I've got the entire card right in front of me, right after Stéphane Lacroix gives his words of wisdom, we will be seeing Mercury Aiden taking on sweet Johnny Zudo in a singles match. Now, Mercury Aiden comes in as the most wrestled in NRW with a record of 10 and 12. Comes in with a record of 10 and 12. Johnny Zudo comes in with a record of 4 and 2. So I'll let y'all make the bets based on that, but... Oh, God. I don't know dog breeds. Also, foxes is just weird dogs, right? Oh, God. I do, maybe, corgis? I think I know what a corgi looks like. That's that thing from uh, Cowboy Bebop. The best character in Cowboy Bebop. So I know what corgis look like, but that looks like a fox. You can't fault me for that. Just weird technological head. In 2014, yes sir. 
We are in 2014. This is episode 18 of Charged. We have finally entered the Charged era, and this is actually the first. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, some people need to be more creative. But, as I was saying, this is the first episode that the house lights have gone away. So we finally get a, well, not a true experience, because that won't happen until Over Easy Stevie shows up. And then he'll take that and walk. I'll run with it in August of 2019. That'll be what I'm looking forward to. Zudo has been around that long. Also, that is uncalled for. Just rude. Yeah, see, Lilith, what that is is a representation of how much I care about the Twitch chat right now. We get it. He's French. There are French things. Yeah, yeah. Tell him, Lacroix. Obviously, me, obviously, everyone here, everybody did not get their three years of foreign language requirement done in high school. <laughs> That's a great question, Rocky Mountain Pro uh, Twitch user thing. Whoever you are. I don't even have three years of English class. How are you going to speak French? Oh, you know, just in general. Extreme Gym 24-7 at the corner of Santa Fe and Oxford in Sheridan, Colorado. Featuring a 24-hour gym. Howdy, Trek reviewer. Kids and adults, Brazilian Krav Maga. That sounds like a Turkish dessert. Training. Though I know it's not. Everyone, there are no it just kind of sounds like it. Goals and much more. Extreme Gym 24-7. I'm glad we Local finally have a Twitch mod that will dispense justice fairly and without favoritism. Needs. Meet our you trainers mean me? and sign up at That's what I do. 247com today. Don't let people lie to you and tell you that I'm I'm playing favorites, because none of y'all are my favorites. <laughs> oh please, Rocky Mountain Pro! Now I know who you are. Ugh. Mercury Aiden, in his true form, as the messenger god, the trickster god, Mercury. He is without his tag partner, Mars Ferox, in the half of Deorum, which is a great name, just a fantastic name, a godly name even. In the famous words of Ricky Ricardo, Lucy, you've got some explaining to do. Mer Mercury Aiden, Definitely has to explain to do what a transformation in this guy. I well, I mean, the last time I saw people in a toga. It's like a whole new year. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess it was kind of a fun night. What a way to make an impact. What a way to Although 2014, it may have been around this time, too. Yeah, because I, uh, I was in college at this point. <laughs> All right, let's get these bets in. Sweet Johnny Zudo versus Mercury Aiden. Well, Do you have any idea what Matt Gaiden had to put up with? He had to put up with Hood Man. Yeah, he had to try some big mighty moves. Yeah, I really don't want really to hear this. this well, he, there anymore. Uh, he sure looked pretty happy. They were winning matches. They were getting along great. And then he turned his back. All right, right. Hey, get your bets in, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your mouth. You don't talk about a lady like that. <laughs> well, I would use the He's no Rick Rude, though. Hey, I've been watching a lot of old Rick Rude matches. A whole lot of old Rick Rude promotions. I like I like seeing that man on camera, and I like his mustache. So not only have you do not know French, you don't even know what Latin is either. Excuse me, there, sir, but uh, Mercury. All right. This thing he's been, this person he's been talking. Now you're talking. 
So we got 6,000 points in the pot right now with one bet for Johnny Zudo and two bets for Mercury Aiden. Oh yeah. Johnny Zudo recently cut his hair, making him look like all three of the boys from the Brady Bunch. Except, you know, with red hair. So, so when Hunter Gray decides to break off into his own, that's fine. But when Matt Yaden decides... Are they seriously starting a wrestle chant? You know, the trash... What do you think they're going to do? Tap dance? Duh! No, I'm just saying, how, how is it wrong? So Mercury ain't really laying it into Johnny Zudo. Showing that peace and love is nowhere near the priorities on a god's <laughs> checklist. Headlock takeover, right down to a front-facing chin lock of some sort. Really ripping him down. Tommy Boucher is confused as usual. Doesn't know where where he's supposed to be. And Mercury Aiden is in control of this situation. With the open palm strike. And with a palm strike of his own, Johnny Zudo is retaking the momentum. I want to apologize to our fans in Cleveland. I like you guys. You're cool. But, you know, I got to agree with you, Lucas. I think that Matt Yaden, you know, he was a great team with Cleveland. And I just don't understand what he thinks he's going to gain from this. He's talking about bars, talking about the future and how the times are changing. I, I don't understand. The times are changing. Hey, get off the hair. You're a god. You're he's omnipotent and stuff. You're supposed to know all the rules. And it's very convenient that Tommy Boucher can see certain things, but not others. But I could go on and on and on. All right, Johnny. Showing a lot of promise, but Mercury Aiden getting him into a leg lock? I'm just going to guess. I'm just going to guess at these. Johnny Zudo's trying to get out of it, but I don't know what he's doing. Okay. All right, using some momentum to pry himself out from between the legs of Mercury Aiden, getting him into a chin lock of his own. And Tommy Boucher is right there to see all this, so... Oh, my God. No pun intended, Mercury Aiden, but oh, my God. Used to be one of my good friends here. Used to be a mentor of mine, and now he's just won't even give me the time. And on and on and on. Hell yes. He turned his back against the NRW fans. He turned his back against his partner. That's a great point, Lucas. It's not just Hoodlum that he's betrayed. It's not just Big Mike's move. It's all of us. Mercury Matt Yaden, one of the most loved characters, one of the most loved people here in NRW. It couldn't be our current stuff because our stuff is not overproduced. It is the right amount of produced. Just enough to make everybody look good, but not enough to take away from the show. You're welcome. What? I, I, you obviously didn't take a, a strong astronomy. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what a fall. Now, And you're seeing the more vicious side of Mercury Yaden. What a huge back The weather back. machine? You mean the weather? Zudo looks like he might be injured. Like, like, hold that throat area. Oh. Admit that you yeah, like the new gear. You like the, the castle thingy. Yeah, I'm not sh quite sure what that's called. All right, Mercury Aiden got a little spring in his step. He's uh, confident in his abilities. With a straight kick to the clavicle of Sweet Johnny Zudo. Sweet Zudo is getting a little sour. Is what it looks like. Which I I see that. Oh no. Oh no. Using the rope with all that leverage to choke Johnny Zudo. <laughs> I've seen Johnny Zudo lately. But seeing him back then is just, it's night and day. Taking him all the way up and bringing him all the way down to the River Styx is Mercury Aiden. That's not his finisher. That's his tag partner's finisher. But I was just speaking. Whatever. Whatever. Ever since that back elbow, the tide has really turned in this match. Oh, bell rung here. Oh, nice block of the suplex. Nice counter. Oh, there's the hole up. One. Oh, only a two count, but that was crafty, Zudo. Here's that fire 
inside John Azuto. He will not kill that quickly. It must be noted. <laughs> we talked about Don't hold your breath, BBC. Where is a volcano? The closest volcano to Rocky Mountain region is Yellowstone, and that one can't erupt. No, wait, that's not a volcano. That's like a geyser of some sort. I can't move a volcano all the way over here. <laughs> I appreciate that you think I can, though. And much Ferox coming in to lay waste to Johnny Zudo, but with all of all of the clouds, not the clouds, all of the stars aligning, Tommy Boucher actually witnessed something he was supposed to call the match over for. So, your winner by disqualification, Sweet Johnny Zudo. I've been fired once before, I just keep coming back. So I guess that's twice now. That was like a car wreck. Like a semi truck running into a pinto. It looks like Mars has Mercury Yane as his role model. We have, it looks like we have an unholy alliance. The referee has to stop this. Somebody has to stop this. Tommy Boucher trying to trying to get him out. Oh man, that was vicious. Oh, 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 you have no idea, 99% of the stuff that goes on around the ring. But as soon as I get in here and I have something to say about things, you're all of a sudden seeing clearly now that the, 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 the clouds are gone. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'd be just as pissed as Mars Ferox. Get out of there, Tommy Boucher. Get some contact lenses or something. Be more consistent with your refereeing and you won't get knocked out by the wrestlers. Duh. He is certainly a force to be reckoned with. I, I can't believe what I just saw. Poor Tommy Boucher. Somebody get these guys some help. They're hurt. Ladies and I would skip these. But I ain't in control of the, the audio video situation, which is putting me outside of my comfort zone. But whatever. If I had it right here in front of me, I could, but I can't. Max Larson's coming into his own. Although I think my favorite youngin' as a referee is Eli. Especially after the, the first time I ever went to Romero's, which was about a year ago, I was told that he was a little too pensive. He was a little too shy against the wrestlers, not being able to show like, hey, I'm wearing the purple, I'm doing my thing here. But that show at Romero's, oh, who was it? I think it was Anaya. He got up in Anaya's face and said, I'm the referee here and you're gonna listen to what I say. Something like that. And I was, oh, Eli. <laughs> I love all of our current referees. They lay down the law. We even got a new referee a student. I don't remember his name, but. Here he is, the new crown. Ever growing. Ohio Valley Rick Wrestling, Taylor. I Snow Wrestling Academy, and Rocky Mountain Region. Formerly known as Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling Academy. Of Glad of a champion I'd be proud of, huh, Roberto? And the fans agree with me. No more I don't think I've seen Izzy in a Rocky That's Mountain right, Pro right. match, but from what I've seen in others, I like her. She kept, keeps it right down the middle and she also knows how to wrestle. I learned that the hard way. And I am the new NRW champion. And I'm damn proud to call him the NRW champion. Milestone Four was a huge milestone for Duck Club and the Duck Club Militia. Oh my God, they'll just cheer for anything. Around my waist, where it belongs. 
So is that, is that what you do? You just get in the middle of the ring and state facts? I wrestled at Milestone. I wear orange. Y'all wear orange. I'm wearing a belt. My hat says Duff. I have a wide stance. Like, wait a minute. What is it? Who is that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, Speak of the crazy. devil, it's your main oh, event, no, no, no. Sam Udell, known as Sammy Six Guns. You may know him as Dak Draper in Ring of Honor. Coming in to shut this orange fool up. I heard rumors, but I don't mind it. It's true. I like the fanny pack. Look at the sculpture on his body. There's no way he's going to lose this match. We're looking at the new NRW champion. I'm just calling it right now. <laughs> the championship celebration by Duff Doyle. What is he doing here? I don't know. I don't want to keep it. Obviously, it's a nice fanny pack. Looks like he's here to wrestle. It's a nice fanny pack, though. Got to come back to it. It looks like we're going to have a match. Oh, yeah. Are you going to take that belt from him? Wait, what? Is this? Is she a fan of the Six Guns hey, or of Dak Draper, etc.? Sam Udell was... Where did I see him? For? Oh, yeah, back whenever I did the Vince Russo era of the statistics. And he was there on the very first episode for a little bit until he got snatched up by Ring of Honor. All right, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Here it is. We've got a match. Please welcome to the ring your official Jehoshaphat Aloysius. Jehoshaphat Aloysius. Jehoshaphat what a dishes. name. Sam Udell. Duff Dole. All right, betting is open. Sam, you Welcome back, Sam. And uh, he's not getting a very warm welcome. Crash, confident. And what did he do to deserve that, Annie Ramon? Because <laughs> if I've learned anything about Twitch, Twitter, and the internet in general, is that most people have it coming. I've, uh, I've blocked, banned, and otherwise bamboozled plenty of people on the internet. And I can tell you that they all deserve it. This is, this will be Duff Doyle's. Sounds like a good day. Oh, well. If you can't mention it, then don't. <laughs> this will be Duff Doyle's first NRW title match that he gets to defend the title it is. all right and your sixth nrw champion duff doyle is taking on sam udell in his debut oh wait not his debut yes his debut in his debut at nrw so Sam Udell with the zero and zero record going up against Duff Doyle with the 16 and six record. Duff Doyle, as you might have guessed, is the winningest wrestler in NRW at this point and and the point that we're at in, this, in the regular show. But it's because he's been around the longest. Stop acting like one-sided fans and start calling action. All right, you know what, Roberto? I will agree with you on this. Sam Udell is a heck of a time. <laughs> Humphrey Jacobs is well, you know one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, though. I love seeing him in the very brief instance that I was able to. I hope that I get to see him in the ring again. Also, fabulous mustache on that guy. I actually ran across a few Humphrey Jacobs shirts while we were cleaning out the quarry. Just... Take one and ask him if I can pay him later. But it's the, the, the regular black ones that say, I broke Curtis's neck. <laughs> Those are classic. You and me both, Chico. 
but I think Duff Doyle has an opportunity to take that title away. Well, it looks Just like, like he took the MRW title away from Miles. It looks like Sammy Dell not wanted Duff anywhere near those, uh, what was it, millions of compliments in that fanny pack? Yes. That was in there? Yes. The crowd solidly, solidly behind Duff Doyle. Sammy Dell's got the upper hand though in the early going. Well, Sammy the crowd Dell's and the bets solidly behind Duff Doyle. 5,500 in the, in the loyalty pot, and it's all for Duff Doyle. If y'all want to win anything, someone's going to have to bet on Sam Udell. Also, a college stat, a college stand out at Chattanooga State. There's no question about it. Sam Udell has a great portfolio. And if you bet on Sam Udell and he wins, then boy, howdy. You're going to get a lot of points. First title defense, first shot to really prove himself as the new NRW champion. And what a great way to do it. If he takes out Sam Udell here in his first defense, can you imagine what status that would elevate him to? Nobody has a bigger heart. Nobody has a bigger heart than Duff Doyle. The four-year journey and again, that, that it took Duff Doyle to get to the NRW ch championship. I'll tell you what, Duff Doyle certainly has won that uphill down and has gone to the top of the mountain. Well, take your time, Sammy. Well, if finally you admit that he earned You got 10 seconds? Use them. Yes. Catch your breath. Let him tire himself out talking to the crowd and being orange. Hey, and like a like a puma pouncing on his prey at the right moment is Sammy Dell. But like a giant, not really giving any credit to any of those attacks is Duff Doyle. Keep him off his feet, keep him grounded. I like this. I like this The rage he felt. Just, oh my god. No 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 no. No 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 no. That just ain't right. That ain't right. Why do y'all cheer this man? That is against the Geneva Convention. I don't know who said it, but someone yesterday said, toilet paper is either 100% clean or 100% unclean. And whoever said that is right. That toilet paper is disgusting. Why would you keep it in your boot? Why in the world does a wrestler have toilet paper in their boot? And why do y'all cheer for it? It doesn't make any sense. And that, that's just more mind games by Duff Doyle. Exactly. I Maybe, you know, it's, it, it, it just shows, oh, it just shows the amount of people that come to these to these events, to these wrestling uh, exhibitions that are just hicks. All they know is, well, I know that song. It's by that Rednecks people. And they cheer on this fool that brings toilet paper into the ring and shoves it down people's mouths. That's just disgusting. Oh. What a smart maneuver by Sammy Dell going after that arm. Over here. Just two. Real right, real right. Mm. He One count away from the new team. How about that? That's oh, actually a good point, Roberto. What if Sammy Dell managed to knock off Duff in his title defense? Mm. Function over form is that whatever that was, the, the elbow breaker, the, the tennis elbow maker, the Tommy John, John, Tommy, uh, the Jonathan, Tommy, Tommy, John submission. I don't know. <laughs> and then working the, the left elbow still with some sort of maneuver. It'd be real great if we could, and back to that arm bar, really stretching that left elbow out. Tearing and the ripping and the tearing of all them ligaments and, there's another word that I'm forgetting, tendons, there we go, tendons and ligaments. Not a good time to be Duff Doyle right now. And just to throw him off, he threw him over top of him. But there's just nothing you can do to Duff Doyle to get him down for all three of them seconds. Makes me want to go to Burger King for a breakfast sandwich. Oh, yes. Pack night here, though. Live only on NRW Charge from Extreme Gym 24 7. Absolutely. If you can you find out more about everything that happens tonight and the fallout from He's always prepared to spare a square. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is really gross. NRW title matchup. Only thing Duff Doyle ever does that makes me cheer is when he loses. Oh, my God. No. I'm just reading Twitch chat. Smart move is up there, but again. Dell keeps the offense on, keeps that left arm in trap. Oh, wow. what a wow. kick by Sammy Dell. Wow. You gotta give it to him, Sammy Dell is a good car. And obviously, he's been not lacking in any sort of confidence. That's what Duff comes back. 
Last ditch effort by Duff Doyle. Looks like he's having a hard time breathing. This ought to do it. Oh, okay, well, maybe not. It's okay, Sam. Just keep on top of him. Just keep on top of him. Yeah, keep wrenching that left elbow. It doesn't bend that way. If you make it bend that way, he'll tap out eventually. Fans obviously behind Duff trying to will him forward. No, fans obviously behind Duff. He's got, he's got his construction zone worth of people. I can't imagine that everybody is a fan of Duff. I mean, look at him. He insults the intelligence of anyone that watches him. He... Well, I mean, I can't really say he's a bad wrestler because he, he is very effective with that trailer hitch. It won't be off a of pinfall, though. That's one thing you can count on is that he has no game when it comes to pinfalls. He's just got that special, he's a one-trick pony is what he is. All you got to do is watch out for that trailer hitch and you're set. Again, he's going for that no mentally stable person wears that much orange. <laughs> you can't use that. You might be onto something. There goes the fan. He's got him over. He's got him Yep, and there it is. And it's locked in. He kept his eyes off the prize. And now his thighs are in demise. And with all three pets going to Duff Doyle, nobody wins any points. But still, your NRW champion, Duff Doyle, with his first title defense, moving his record up to 17 and six. Sam Udell in his debut match, 0 and 1. I sure hope the next episode auto plays, or else we're gonna be sitting here looking silly. You know what, you're right. Times are changing. It'll probably auto play. I think I've seen it do it. It is the beginning of the Duff Doyle era here on NRW Charge. What's in store for Duff Doyle? next week, right? and hopefully we can get a, uh, a health update on referee Tommy Boucher for you next week as well. What a, what a great and exciting episode of NRW Charge for Matt Wilcox and Robert Vadua. I'm Lucas Bradwell. We'll see you next Thursday here on NRW Charge. Holy Moses. Oh, yeah, good. We're getting right into it. Thank God. And here we are. The hottest YouTube sensation since 98 Degrees. Just kidding, 98 Degrees came out way before YouTube. All right, and so the next episode, we are starting off with Sam Udell again. Up against Ronan. All right, so we got a couple of greenies in the ring right now. So coming in is, as you saw, 0-1 Sam Udell. Though, so, I mean, he was fighting against the winningest wrestler in NRW, in Duff Doyle. Anyway, Ronan is coming in at 0-1 as well. So someone's got to win. Both of these guys, 0-1, Someone has got to win. Someone has got to move to 1-1, one and, one, and someone has got to move to 0-2. Oh Who's it going to be? Get your bets in, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I believe this match has an eight-minute eight time limit. So keep that in mind. Man is in our WWE debut in an unsuccessful try against Hunter Gray. Maybe this week he'll have a little better luck. Eight-minute time limit. And it's scheduled for one pinball or submission. One pinball! And here we are, underway. 
Ronan versus Sam Udell. This is an interesting matchup. Yeah, I think Ronan wants to get back on track. He put up a great fight last week against Hunter Gray. Did not come out to Ooh, track. getting started early is Sam Udell. What a contrast in styles, Roberto. With you got Sam Udell. Hitting him with a back body suplex. Oh, athletic. Really jarring the rhythm and making the heart beat a little different. Getting a little off rhythm. But speaking of off rhythm, Ronan is taking Sam off of his rhythm. Being crafty and sneaky. Really moving around the ring. And under the legs, through the arms. Being a nice little slippery, greasy man. Though I don't know if he's actually slippery and greasy because do vampires, do vampires perspire? Do vampires need deodorant? Do vampires need to drink water? My dream girl is wearing that. Really? I'll tell you what. I need help, Twitch chat. All right, Sam Udell getting that left arm wrenched. But Ronan not taking any of it. Sometimes you just got to let them have it. Nice forearm to the jaw of the vampire man, Ronan. And although Ronan was unsuccessful last week against Hunter I don't like the way that arm is bending. Quite impressive, put in a great showing against him. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Still standing is Ronan getting the momentum edging back into his favor. Superstar Sam Udell. I tell you what, Ronan. But he definitely didn't see that coming. You got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. All right, Sam Udell, wrap this up. Only got one bet in for Ronan. It is a 2,500, a 2,500 point bet. All right, Chico betting on Sam Udell. So we've got an equal betting field of 5,000 total points. 2,500 for Sam Udell, 2,500 for Ronan. Sam Udell with the pin. Let's see. No, not this time. All right, and that one, some kind of a half surfboard maneuver, maybe? No, it's a chin lock. It's a chin lock with an added bonus of an arm wrench that is probably called something, I don't know. That's a good point. Both these guys coming off losses. They both obviously want to get back in the win column. That's one, that's one thing about NRW Charge, and that is not a friendly place for debuts or returns. Actually, in, I believe fact, in fact, I don't think in our charge history has there been anybody that's debuted or re-debuted and been victorious. I believe you are, are really? correct. Wow. We'll have to get our fact checker to check that. Sammy Dell grounding Ronan. I've got to admit this is a smart strategy. You cannot let Ronan get the pace going. You cannot let him get the speed. Ronan likes high octane, high octane offense. All right. Simple maneuver, slamming the back of his head into the mat. That'll get you angry. But that'll make you bleed. A knee right to the face. But only a two and a half count. Ronan is uh really sticking in there. I don't know what vampire I don't know what special abilities vampires have, but he must be tapping into them. It ain't just the bite, folks. It's something to do with their blood and something to do with uh, their cardiovascular system. I know there's something there, but I don't like to do research into all that devil stuff. Also, we know that Mercury Mercury Hayden is in the building with his new protege, Mars Ryan. That we saw that beast last week attack Johnny hmm. Silver and Huckabee Tommy Boucher. All right, still nothing. Ronan is undying, both in spirit and in the ring. He will not quit. He will not be pinned for three seconds, at least not at this juncture of the wrestling match. That's what I heard. I heard he's in condition to suit up. Wait a minute. They let you officiate matches from a wheelchair? I heard he's perfectly fine. That's what I heard. See, and unlike Dave Dean, our former champion, Tommy, after suffering a beat down, is not afraid to come back next week. I'm going to tell Dean. No, actually, he'll punch me really hard. And speaking of missing in action, still no word from Hoodlum. 
That ought to do it, Sammy. Man, all right, never mind. Really wrenching in that left arm and neck yeah, area. I would just crush. No, I'd be the other side, I guess, but it would just rip the spine out from your, your, your collarbone. I don't like the way that looks. But it's certainly effective into a hammerlock, into a hammerlock. What in the world? No, well, no wonder that looked weird. I don't even know what it's called, but Ronan was able to reverse it and find his way on top of Sammy Dell, then to a missile drop leg kick, something like that, and then a some other cool vampiric kick. Lots of kicks from the vampire. That's why the Riley veteran is in there. He just moved to the left. Watch it. Oh, but even with that flurry of kicks. Oh. And that's it, folks. Sam Udell endures and pins the vampire one, two, three. One word, one word, guys. Awesomeness. Wow. It was a very awesome display there by Sam Udell. But once again, another I have been teleported back to middle school, supposedly. I don't believe that there are any compliments in there. That's a very small fan attack. Wait. You know, compliments aren't a tangible thing, so you could probably uh, probably be able to fit a whole lot of them in there. Oh, that man. Not again. on NRW charge. The Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the only establishment in Colorado to get professional wrestling training from professionals with ties to major promotions available nowhere else. Founded in 2014 by Mercury Fitness in support of NRW Sports Entertainment and in partnership with Extreme Gym 24-7, the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy offers a training program that focuses on the full professional wrestling experience, including proper fundamentals, oh, God. technique, cardio conditioning, This next match more. is going to be... Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy, you well, it's going to be something. ...to Extreme Gym 24-7's facility and the opportunity to attend NRW's bi-weekly live charged ITV tapings and major events getting up close and personal with world-class talent. If you are serious about becoming a professional wrestler, then the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the place for you. Located at Santa Fe and Oxford inside Extreme Gym 24-7 in Sheridan, Colorado. Oh, well, whoops. The fans obviously hungry here tonight, wanting their croissants and their french fries from uh, Stefan LaCroix? Le 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 no, that's just ignorant. French fries didn't even come from France. You know, Twitch chat is a whole lot like a wrestling crowd in that you can't trust that they are smart in any way. Dude comes in with a French flag and all of a sudden people think, oh, well, that's the only French thing I know. Oh, French fries, French fries, that'll get him. Yeah, Chico, La Croix is one of my favorites. The French phenom. I'm also a little biased because I can actually roll my R's in French, and I can't do that in Spanish or Portuguese or any of the other languages that use, you know, the regular old R. <laughs> you Americans smell and look like zoo animals. Zuta lors, magnifique, Stefan Lacroix. Oh my god. People just think they're hilarious, don't they? You know, when someone has a microphone in, in their hand, you're supposed to respect them. You're supposed to sit there and listen. But all these clowns in the audience, all these comedians in the audience think it's open mic night. <laughs> I got something for you, Frenchie. What they sound like. Wow. I, well, I don't know if that's true. We haven't seen this.
still hungry for my That lunch. means you're an idiot. That's so... what? I'm gonna do fromage. Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab is a national treasure. I need to watch through the whole thing again. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, professional wrestling, and personal training. With affordable rates for everyone, there are no excuses not to achieve your goals and much more. Extreme Gym 24 7. That's got to be the best episode of. That has to be my favorite Dexter's Laboratory needs. episode is when he tries to teach himself French overnight. I'm going to let do from us. I already know who you're tagging with, and I don't like it, Johnny. You still looking for a tag partner? I am. You in? I'm in. Awesome, man. Well, that was easy. You know, kids, here's, here's a life lesson. If you're looking for something, and it should be difficult to find, but then it ain't, you probably get out of that situation. Like a summer job. I remember it was in Athens, Georgia, and I was going to go down all of Lumpkin Street and just put my name in, just give application after application after application. And it was the first restaurant I stumbled on on Lumpkin Street. Now there were like 20, 25 more that I was gonna go to. But as soon as I walked in and put my name in, they said, when can you start? And I was like, uh, 4 p.m. today. And that was a mistake. That was the worst job I ever worked. But if it's that easy to find something that you should be looking a long time for. Tommy is back. The let me give you a little history lesson, Robert. Up into that. Tommy Boucher is a 12-year veteran in the wrestling business, but this is this is his first match back in four years. What a homecoming for Mr. Boucher! And, but what a reception! He's too old to be wrestling, isn't he? Like 50 years old? No. How about that? Tommy Boucher's in his mid 30s. He's hey, he looks in pretty good shape to, for a guy that hasn't wrestled in four years. The fans showing the respect. That's fun to see. Why do, Why are they showing respect? I mean, I guess it's full of orange idiots anyway. The Duff Dole Militia. They'll cheer for anything. Maybe they just see Johnny Zudo's orange hair. They're like, oh, wait, that's orange. I like it. Now, there we go. Now, that is a tag team. Deora. Mars Ferox. Mercury 8. What? Yes. What does that mean? Uh, half gods, I think? Yes. Well, I can't be better. Let's use that word. Alright. Well, but these two Mercury and Mars. Their goddess. Wow. Look at these two posing figures. I still can't get over the transformation of Mercury 8. Alright. Look at this. It's like it's, it's not the same individual that we know. Alright, Mercury. Totally changed for the worst of my opinion. How about his partner Mars? Imposing figure, bright red eyes. I'm, I'm terrified. He's got to go, what, 6'5? 250 pounds? Hey, man. If you want to be known as Jupiter, I'll call you Jupiter. Jupiter Jumbo. I like it. Jumbo Jupiter. Either one. And this. This, this will be, be quite a tag team match. You've got hold of that ignition title just like Jupiter has hold of his lightning bolts. They're both yellow. I don't see why not. Johnny Zudo and Tommy Boucher teaming up against the new form tag team. And Boucher wants Mars immediately. He wants them. What's the match the attack last week? Hey, Mercury is Hey, y'all's bigger than me. So y'all can, I will call you whatever y'all want me to. Go ahead and take straight lace Tommy Boucher lightly. Go ahead and straight lace with straight lace. See what happens. Whoa. Yeah, I see. That's what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. There's the power. Fuck. 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 Fuck.
I'd love to be Neptune. <laughs> Trying to get some revenge for what happened to him last week. Yeah, but you gotta admit, I love Tommy Shea. He's a great guy. I talked to him backstage a lot. He's a very nice person. But the strength of Mars might be too much to overcome. And me being a 25 year friend of Tommy Boucher, I've, I've got a question whether or not. Betting on the big beefy boys. That's probably a good idea. I guarantee you, when Mars is four years old, he was still. So, Dayorum and Pseudo and Boucher, these are actually both of their premieres. We have not seen Deorum yet. We have not seen the tag team combination of Sweet Johnny Zudo and Tommy Boucher. Oh, <laughs> Mars Ferox also didn't see Tommy Boucher get out of the way. Which has got to be... Why is he saving up all of his talent for here? Why can't I see that while he's wearing stripes? Why would you tag yourself in until that I guess you got to test the waters here. Really taking advantage of him while he's down as Johnny Zudo. Yeah, not quite enough, Johnny. Yeah, you're not going to keep him down for long. Oh, no, he just... See, that... Is, oh, this is just so strange. Because Mars is down, but he's just not... Johnny Zudo is not in control by any means. After... Okay, a good, good tag team combination by Boucher and Zudo. Trying to... Trying to wear him down, chop at the tree of Mars Ferox. We got one bet in for Zudo and Boucher. We got one, uh, three bets in for Deorum with a total loyalty pot of 8,193. Johnny Zudo is trying to get ahead of steam, but he just can't right now. And now we, oh no, and here comes Mercury Aiden. The fresher of the two. And just taking control of the situation with Johnny Zudo. We have seen a new aggressiveness. So, so you, uh, you're upset because you had this full uh, French. You know, Zudo, this is what you get. Okay, all right. Maybe I'm eating my. Nope, no, I'm not. I will not eat crow. I do not like the taste of it. And it's probably disgusted. Where did my water go? There it is. Yeah, Mercury Aiden's got him in a nice little chin lock. Coming all the way back into a... I don't, I don't even know what you would call that. Chin lock, full grapple, Nelson, something or another. Committed himself to that tag team. He was always having Mercury's back ever since that tag team was I remember a different I remember... But the crafty Johnny Zudo putting his leg on the ropes. Even the god of messengers knows that he can't break the rules of the ring. Not while Jehoshaphat Aloysius is wearing stripes. Gotta make sure you have the points, Rabbi. Though I've seen you around, you should. A little distracted there. Hmm. So get it straight. Matt Yadin drew a long line in the side, and because Hoodlum decided to sit on the stage and not take sides, Matt Yadin made his decision for him. Well, let's, let's be perfectly honest. Hoodlum, every, every time the Mercury Matt Yadin was in that ring, Hoodlum had his back. Did, when Hoodlum had that war with Trajan Ender, Ender that lasted nearly four months, Mercury Yadin never came to his That's it, exactly. That is it, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. So oh, okay, cool. So yeah, you just Matt barely Yadin don't have enough points. Didn't well, you're, you're mad because when, when the minimum is 500, so just keep that in mind. There you go. All right, let's see what happens. Now with a total loyalty pot of 9,193, we got one bet for Zudo and Boucher and four for Deorum. It looks like Deorum has seriously got all the momentum. Really crushing the intestines of Johnny Zudo. Ah, I hope he didn't eat anything sweet or else it's all coming out after this match. Hmm. 
It's everything that he used to be in. He's in his body. So the ropes is illegal, but just standing on. Oh my god, with the leg drop is Yaden. Looks like he got six feet up in the air. Got two count there. Wow. All right, I don't know how Zudo kicked out of that. He just will not lose. It's something about something about the character of, of a person. They're in the ring with a partner. They know they can't let the uh, the guy on the corner down. But at a certain point, you just got to know when you don't want to be beaten to a pulp. Oh, my God. Mars is a large fella. I would not want to endure any more punishment from either of these either of these two guys. That's where, I, that's where I'm at. Johnny Zudo, just give up. I don't understand this whole, this whole Greek mythology. This, this They're Roman gods. What is that? Who wants to pick up a history? I think I do. I think that you didn't know. Are their names Hermes and Ares? No, their names are Mercury and Mars. Therefore, they are Roman gods. Commentary just pisses me off with how much they do not know. <laughs> also, who put this? Actually, it's the debut of both of these teams, so I guess it is a fair fight. We got to see who's the better of the two, better of the two teams. Yeah, cutting promos at 5 p.m. trying to get this crowd behind Johnny Zudo. That'd be a question for Jumbo. I haven't, uh, as far as I know, yeah, but I am not in the know of absolutely everything. You know who's been called Mars 2.0, but is it you? Is it you? Are you condoning what they did last week to poor Mr. Boucher? Just being a referee doing his job. Are hey, what's done me? is what's done. What? Mm. Boucher is obviously okay. God, just hanging himself up to dry. I don't like, he's got no more fight left in him as Johnny Zudo. Ah, Damon Ace. Yeah, I'm terrified of that man. I can see it. There's a new fall. It's called retirement. Really? That man is terrified. I've seen him in the ring. I'm not sure that he wants to, like, I'm not sure if winning is his objective. I think that hurting people is his objective. And I don't know how to feel about that. I want to stay away from him. That's, what, that's how I feel about it. Hey, Johnny Zudo getting a little bit of offense of his own, using all of the strength he had left in his reserves. Come on, make it to Tommy Boucher so he can disappoint the entire crowd. Like, you, your team is done when the only wrestler is fighting for his life to stay in. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. He's limp. Using up all his energy at the very outset is Tommy Boucher. Not able to fell Mars. Still not able to knock the big man down. Look at this. Boucher with all the momentum in the world right now. Oh, oh. The modified DDT. Spiked him. There's the cover now. There's a cover. Uh, wait, 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 wait. And the referee caught it. Brilliant. Yeah, it's it. See, Tommy Boucher, that's like telling the same joke twice. If it wasn't funny the first time, I'll say it again. If you couldn't pin him on the first try, don't try it again. Now he's already awake. He's already, he's already prepared. Ah, all right, well, that'll be the end of Tommy Boucher. Yeah, good night. Day Orem, your winners. I don't want to, Lilith. Man. I can't catch a break. Why can't anything good happen to me? 
Oh, okay, well, at least they are him with the win. They are him with the win. And, you know, this was their debut. So they are 1 0. Zudo and Boucher are 0 and 1. We will just have to see what the future entails for the rest of these, for these tag teams. I know all the pain and all the broken bones. You don't have to remind me. It's already like it's there. It's already in my head now. I've made a Hola, Miss Dow. Mistake. Good and gracious at the amount of points. Oh well, never mind. Still a lot of points, more than me. With Mercury Aiden at milestone three. Now, that's a man. That I can't get enough of in the middle of the ring is Hoodlum. I turned my back and Yaden clotheslined me in the middle of the ring at milestone four. No, my mistake was when just beating him to the punch, says Mercury Yaden. Matt Yaden, because he knew that he would turn on him. It was just a matter of time, so he just wanted to go ahead and get that in. They teach us, and Yaden, you're gonna start to wish that that time that you stabbed me in the back at milestone Man, I just four, don't that you actually stabbed I guess me I just can't keep up because that's I all right alive and well and when you hit me with that clothesline it jarred something loose that hasn't been jarred loose in a very long time you see Aiden you've gone through plenty of name changes you've gone through plenty of of tweaks and turns throughout your career trying to redefine yourself there's been one constant in NRW. And you, I'm glad you've adopted this new lifestyle and you're taking a look back into history and, and you found a new identity in this, in this God that you think you are. But I invite you to look back at the history of the company that you founded. Because the one constant has been the tidal wave of destruction that has been hoodlum. The tidal wave of destruction that has been hoodlum. NRW, I'm here for one thing. To burn it down. Oh, I like it. I like it, Hoodie. Damon can spoke. Why do y'all pick on me? I just don't get it. And Huff, can you... Can you last in Twitch for longer than a minute without talking about yourself? Like, it's the most self-centered thing I've ever seen out of anyone I've ever met. Anyway, God, everybody just wants to piss me off on Twitch. Well, that's what is, that's just what happened. And it's the people that I work with. Thank you, The Drove, coming in with the most stylish emote on Twitch. You get it, at least. Anyway, so we've got your champion, your NRW champion, Duff Doyle, going up against ooh, Duff Doyle. Hunter Gray. Duff Doyle has been so Duff Doyle comes in 17 and 6. Hunter Gray comes in 6 and 5. But Hunter Gray has had a, uh, a meteoric rise to the top of NRW, if you will. Meteoric. It's a fun word. And Duff Doyle has had one total to uh, title defense so far. If he wins this one, it'll be the second title defense. If he loses, we will see our seventh NRW champion crowned in Hunter Gray. Hunter Gray's a good wrestler, y'all. I don't, I don't know. Sure Let's awesome. see here. Yeah. 
Scheduled for one fall and no time limit is Hunter Gray versus Duff Doyle, the champion for the NRW Championship match. Get your bets in, ladies and gentlemen. We could be here all night until we get either Jeff Doyle repeating or a new champion. I have no control over this. I, I have zero control over what is happening on the screen. Like, what's going to happen is if, uh, if Merck ain't back, then... I'll just like it'll just keep playing on the episode 20, 21, whatever. I, honestly, he's gonna have to get there. He's gonna have to turn the screen off, stream off, and hand it over to Jumbo. Or maybe I can invite him to the call. But the, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's what'll happen. Jumbo at large with that Prime subscription. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, God. I forgot that that's what happened. I'm calling you right now. That's what he You'll all be over soon. I'll be over soon. We'll all be over soon. Let's get a few facts. Hunter Gray simply walked out on Danger Dean. He was tired of Well, he walked out. He simply walked out. He did put his hands on Danger Dean. He did. Shuffle back. He shut. He assaulted Danger Dean. He assaulted him, which opened up for Duff Doyle to take advantage of it and win the championship. I know. Granted, Duff Doyle did just. He successfully defended the title last week against Sandy Now. But how all of a sudden does Hunter Gray sneak into the title? Well, let's talk about that. Last week. Hunter Gray had a very impressive victory over Ronin, who's a boy's Yes, he is a newcomer here to NRW, but he was an accomplished star. And again, I'm not sure if a noogie is legal in wrestling, but that's what we're seeing on a Duff Doyle. Older brother in Hunter Gray, and I don't know if Hunter Gray wants to be older brother. I'm telling you, that's what happened. That seems a little bit convoluted. Might just poke the bear, if you know what I mean. At Milestone, then you win one match against a newcomer, Ronan, and we all know the history behind NRW Charge. No newcomer has ever won their debut here on NRW Charge. And then the following week is the title. No newcomer has ever won their debut. No, that's just false. That's just false. Dayorum literally just did that. See, that's why we need a statistician. So that commentary can't just pull stuff out of their keisters and expect people to believe them as though they are preaching the gospel because it ain't true. And all the publicity James Dean got with that record setting uh, title streak. And he got jealous. So what he did is behind, oh, what a, behind what close doors, he set up a handshake deal with Tough Doyle. He lost Dean the title so that he can get a shot. So I've said it before, I'll say it again. Duff Doyle is not an easy match to win, but it is a simple match to scout. You just watch out for that, for that trailer hitch. Oh, there we go. And with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex is Hunter Gray overpowering the champion. Anyway, if you could just if you could just avoid the trailer hitch, you'll be fine. Because he doesn't win by pinfall very often. I've got the stats right in front of me. And before all this, he just does not lose, or he does not win by pinfall very often. So if you can get in the pinfall, it's almost a guaranteed victory. Just kick out. Like he, he doesn't have the strength to keep you down for three seconds. He does have the strength to keep your legs locked up in that trailer hitch, but that's been it. That's been 90% of his matches, or more. Man, with those side suplexes, he's just throwing him around, tossing him around like a rag doll. Hunter Gray has really been able to, to just ground and pound Duff Doyle throughout this matchup so far, using his strength. Oh man, tough turn amount of combat, but the strength of Hunter, we've talked about it so many times before, Hunter is a great ball. Yeah. Duff Doyle is going to have to use his ring experience in, or, in order to, to get an upper hand. Oh. And did you see? Just how long he, he held Duff up in that suplex. And that, all, is, that move is impressive in itself. Well, it, and here at the high altitude in Denver, Colorado, all that blood rushing down his head. And then the impact of the ring. Oh, no doubt about it, this Hunter Gray has 
takes him out of this world's trip. A bear hug, just trying to duck George, forcing the air out of his lungs. Oh, where's my laptop? Oh, I don't know what Duff's gonna do to break this hole. Where did it go? Really it's way over there. I'm gonna have to go fetch that real quick. <laughs> wow, that is just long enough. Ugh, the USB cable, just long enough to reach over to my computer. He's the living embodiment of a John Deere trucker hat. <laughs> so he's Ashton Kutcher, but a little bit later. And a wrestler. I cannot believe that that was a move that he had in his arsenal. But then again, yeah, I can. I don't need that. I don't need that. Why I keep my stuff on mute? What did I miss? Nope, not enough. What are you whining about? Now I got this dog whining at me. Is it my turn to whine at you? Another. Yeah. Keep bringing it. So we have reached the breaking point of this match. Both of them are warmed up. Both of them have felt each other out. Now it's just time to see who is the better wrestler. What's happening, Dishonored? How's it been going? What I miss? Anything good? Let's see, I can tell you exactly what you missed. <clears throat> you missed. You. Losing by disqualification to Zudo. You missed what? Duff Doyle defending his championship against Sam Udell. You missed Sam Udell uh, defeating Ronan in their 0-1 debuts. You missed Zudo and Boucher teaming up. You missed me ranting and not raving about it. But you debuted with Mars Ferox in Dayorum. And then Duff Doyle is fighting Hunter Gray right now for the NRW championship. Also, I'll say it again. That's really gross. Using toilet paper in a match has got to be illegal. I cannot imagine that it had, like, I know that the rule book probably doesn't have to touch on it because they didn't think that anyone would be stupid enough to try it. But here we are watching Duff Doyle break the Geneva Convention and then giving a nice hearty slap to the chest of Hunter Gray. And then this. Those, I don't even want to describe what happened. Wow. That was, that was an odd sequence. Watch it. Oh, it looks like Hunter Gray's got pencil erasers. Yeah, now. you can't just do that for Gray. In the program. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but Duff Doyle slamming him. Oh, okay. Hunter Gray won't be taken down that easily, though. Thank you, Annie, for gifting that tier one sub to Chico Stantana. Much appreciated. Oh, there's the trailer hits, boys and girls. All right. Duff Doyle wins by submission. Was anyone surprised? So with his second total title defense is Duff Doyle, bringing his record to 18 and six. Hunter Gray breaks even at six and six. Unbelievable and we're about to move on to episode 20. Now when you say it was anybody uh, surprised, obviously 60% of the people that bet were. Yeah, well, I, were you surprised that he won by submission though? I don't know. I just got done, I just got done saying how barely not 10% of his matches are won by pinfall. <laughs> Miss me? <laughs> Look, I just need to address a few things really quick. Yes, it's true. Hunter Gray and myself, we're no longer together. And I'm okay with that, really. I cut weak links once, I'll cut weak links again. Because I am the strongest link. Duff Doyle, you, I hope you're enjoying your title reign. I hope you're enjoying your victory at Milestone 4, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I invoke my rematch clause. I take back my NRW championship, and I continue the greatest reign in NRW history. At NRW Charged. I'll see you all then. Enjoy it, Duff.
Yeah. Yaden. Man. Tonight, you and I finally are in the same building for the first time since Milestone Four. We're here oh, no. and in our oh, I didn't need that. So there tonight, I fire the first shot in a very, very long war. Win, lose, or draw tonight, Yaden. I'm coming. And in fact, you follow me. Greg. Greg. I don't know if we've met. Hoodlum. Yeah, we met. Yeah. Wait a minute. yeah. Tonight, I want Mercury Yaden in that ring. And you saw what he did to me at Milestone 4. Tonight, I, I, I promise you, I will make you money if you put me in the ring with that guy. Tonight, I want him right now. Right. He's not wrong. Me and Jackie have talked about this. Don't worry. We're going to get you hooked up with Yaden. All right. So don't you worry. You and Hoodlum have had a tumultuous past to be. To yeah, be I'd quite say <laughs> it's an understatement, right? But it's going to happen. Yeah. The longest reigning so rivalry in Colorado, I believe. I think so. Work it out. Longer right, than Orton happen. and Cena? Longer than your other favorite rivalry? This has been going on for over a decade. I want to know what they had over television. the screen there. Like the, is that a, like a plastic bag or something? Yeah, is it a garbage bag just in case someone flings Coca-Cola over there? I don't know. I was like looking at that last time. I was like, what is that? I mean, is if it, you can do it to a couch, you can do it to a laptop. Yeah. I suppose. Okay, but did the betting actually get updated? You're lying to me, Streamlabs. Guys, this is a this is a show that we've been waiting a long time for. Your guy, Danger Dean, gets his title rematch. And it's been way too long. I mean, it's everybody's gotten a title. Oh yeah, there we go. Before Danger Dean got his rematch, how fair is that? Well, tonight, justice will be served, and Danger Dean will bring the title back home. Ladies and gentlemen, the Roman demigod. Hey, it's me. Right, you're seeing 2020 Yaden as well as 2014 Yaden. <laughs> Your face is priceless. It's like you know, you know you deserve to be there. Yes. And you know I do. that you're going to win. That's what I like in a wrestler: confidence. Pre Valour. That's actually Valour, though. Those tights are also a Valour. What is Valour? I started wearing it's like velvet. Oh, okay. I started doing that um, in 2011. But I wasn't doing a Valour singlet. Oh, okay. This is a new Mercury. Get the old Matt Yaden. This is a completely different person. It's true. I think he doesn't talk much either. No, it, yeah. everything he says is in Latin. I do you understand a word he says? 
What's the regular material they use to make just wrestling singlets? I just, yeah, it's your spandex, your... I mean, as far as what it is specifically it is, I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, because if, uh, if someone tips $500 and Hoff and I have to have a match, I sure as hell ain't gonna be wearing this. I'm gonna get my roommate to make me a singlet. So I need to know what to make it out of. <laughs> I agree. This is my favorite referee that I've seen on rewinds thus thus far. Pat Caesar. We have we have seen him say cryptic things in in his Latin language. I think you hear the fans out there booing anarchy. Just look look at this. Look at the look at his face. It's just real. Everything is. Well, I don't know what you mean by story, but I can tell you that. Anarquest comes into this match at 0-5. Mercury Aiden comes in at 10-13. and 13. Mercury Aiden, the most wrestled wrestler in NRW at this point, and probably all points. And that's just you have the, the stuff most we've, matches. That's just the stuff we've seen here. We're missing all sorts of stuff. So, Well, in the recorded history. Wow. Can't even tell if his nose is broken, but I'll just safely assume it is. Now, you know, I did my research, fellas. I finally went on Wikipedia, and I looked up the history of the Roman god Mercury. He was the god of commerce, the god of finance. He was also the, the messenger for so many people. Good job. You did your research for once. It makes sense. He's making more money. Did you not pay attention in seventh grade literature? Jesus. But look at the disrespect here. They show an Antichrist. Just holding it down the middle of the ring, jawing at the fans. Yeah, Mercury Aiden has all the momentum in his favor right now. What, what exactly I, I, I haven't seen anything promising out of Anarchist in the little time that I've been watching Rewind. He at least knows where the rope is. Oh, man. Knee to the head. And Anarchist may be stunned here. And he, you got to think about it. Anarchist has given up at least 50 points. Hardvark, we haven't made it that far. I don't have the statistics on Hazard. We've seen that utilized here. Lots of striking strong blows. I also want to remind everyone that later on tonight, Stefan... And we'll joke that Anarquest is Hazard's uncle, but it's just because they both wear a mask and wear black and yellow. They are not related in any way, I don't think. He takes on Tommy Boucher, who is making his in-ring singles return the first time in four years. I can't wait for that match. Can't wait to see Tommy come back to it. So you can bring awareness from Anarquest, not only in that game, or Mercury game. And I, we also know that later on tonight, Hoodlum will take on oh, I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound, Merc. True Dark Jedi in the house. Subscribing at Tier 1, the second straight month. What's happening, True Dark Jedi? Good to see you. Welcome back in. The Santa Claus of Milestone 10. Yes. Makes his return with a subscription. Thank you very much. Oh! He might... He might and there goes the chicklets. Yep. It's academic. That's all, folks. Nobody bet on Arquist? Nope. So, moving his record to 0 and 6 is Arquist. Nice. Mercury Aiden, you are now at 11 and 13. And I shall be right back. All right then. Just got done setting up my bearded dragon cage. That sounds interesting. Not only is it a dragon, but it's got a beard too. How much more perfect can an animal be? You're right. The force is no match for a good blaster. See, there's nice fancy frou frou ideas that float around in the force. But when you got a gun shoved down your throat, there is nothing it'll do for you. Of course, they will come later on tonight, our main event. It's Duff Doyle defending against Danger Dean. 
<laughs> oh, good. I've never seen a bearded dragon. These are monitors. I got two of them. One here, one there. Also got one over there, but that's a laptop. I don't know if that really counts. I mean, it's got a monitor attached to it, but you know. My question to you, True Dark Jedi, can it fly? Because that's really the only thing I'm fearful of. Oh, yes, Stefan Lecroix. <laughs> Here we go. In his debut match. Stefan Lecroix against Tommy Boucher. The first appearance. The French Revolution has arrived here in NRW. You know, they keep saying that. I don't think they know the first thing about the French Revolution. They also go on to talk about how unsuccessful the French army is. But that's just also ain't true. They've been on the internet for all of, like, what, four and a half minutes and come back to commentary with this bland, awful garbage? Oh, well. Guess I'm used to it. All right. Stefan Lacroix versus Tommy Boucher. So one of those is getting into two. Both of them making their debuts as a singles competitor for Tommy Boucher. At least he had one other match in a tag team. But uh, Ta Stefan Lacroix, it is his first outright, his first match. No, unless I throw him. <laughs> oh my God, Hoff. You are incredibly annoying. You're not a dragon. You're not a dragon. You have a beard. That doesn't mean you are a bearded dragon. Appreciate it, True Dark Jedi. I'll check it out once I'm done with all this. Pinocchio Bonaparte's was exiled. <laughs> right. Bonaparte's. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only dragon I know, Ms. Dowd. That's, I mean, I have, I have seen him fly. The Rocky Mountain Dragon certainly can fly. He just chooses to go right back down uh, in the Frog Splash and then pin you. One, two, three. I don't know if I want to hear it, but I will. Peach wine cooler sound pretty delicious, though. I'm a fan of peaches. In fact, the other day, I was just out in my yard and found a peach. It was next to a tree. I haven't eaten it yet, but, I mean, well, I found a peach. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Tommy Boucher being proactive in this matchup. Something we are not used to seeing while he's wearing stripes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. There you go, Stefan Lacroix. 
Yeah, you're taking his arm and you wrench it out, making sure he can't move. Making sure he can't go nowhere. Very smart. Kind of luring in Tommy Boucher a couple of times, grabbing the ropes earlier. This oh, I didn't even see the first half of that message. You should, all right. It would take a whole lot more than peach wine coolers to get me to hang out with Hoff on when I'm not, you know, working. What is this? Taking full advantage. Oh, God. Jesus. Looks like he's going to give it to Tommy Boucher to surrender. Oh, wait. Got that lock. This is a. This is a vice Wow. No, I was. I heard stuff on the quad talk about this move earlier. Look at the ropes. Boucher's got his foot on the ropes. This is what he calls the Boucher Ponier La Francais. That means. That's it. All right, well, I don't think Stefan Lacroix knows the rules. Because he just got disqualified for holding in that lock longer than five seconds after that rope break. But it just got, it, it's, it's not fair. He comes here, doesn't really speak English all that well, has to learn a whole new set of American rules. The card is certainly stacked against Stefan Lacroix. Especially if Tommy Boucher can win. That's just unheard of. You can go watch him go back and watch the film. Stephon LeCroix better get his head in the game here. He doesn't. And not a successful debut for Stephon LeCroix, but it was impressive. I don't think he seems too bothered by it. He locked in that French vice grip. More NRW charge still to come. Extreme Gym 24-7 at the corner oh, of Santa Fe, now. Oxford, and Sheridan, Colorado. Featuring I like that color. Gym, that's a good, a good Maga, light beige. What's, adults, what's the dragon's name? Professional wrestling and personal training. With affordable rates for everyone. It's like a, he's like a no puppy. excuses not to achieve <laughs> your goals and much more. Extreme Gym 24-7. Or a little chick. and operated is your one stop for all well, A little bigger than a need. chick. Meet our trainers and sign up at ExtremeGym247.com today. That would be funny if you named your dragon Atiba. <laughs> the glory that I brought to my homeland in that victory. What match? You got disqualified. But I beat him. Disqualified? Maybe you don't understand what disqualified means, but you got disqualified. Listen, Dillweed, you left the ring. You Dillweed. You paid if you continue to do that. This woman is extremely disrespectful. Yes. Hold on. Somebody has to let him know the truth. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that plenty of times, usually after something incredibly rude. You can't get paid if you get disqualified, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, we'll get you back in there somehow, all right? Don't worry. I'll take care of you. You better. I will. Okay? Dillweed, don't do it. Hey. Hey. Don't do it again. Hey. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Who does she think she is? Well, Stephon LaCroix sure is. And her husband's no different. He wasn't. He wasn't any better until just right then. If nobody knows who you are, don't act like they do. It wasn't at the time. <laughs> but this is back in 2014. We're watching Rocky Mountain Rewind. Uh, look at the history of. Rocky Mountain Pro and New Revolution Wrestling. You're watching six years old footage. <laughs> Back in 2014. Though I am in 2020. The, uh, the present, if you will. This is not the baby kissing, the high five of This is the hood of He doesn't care what you think. All right, let's see. Ooh, this ought to be good. He's going to get the next best move right now. All right, so Hoodie versus Mars Ferox. Well, let's see here. Let's see here. Mars So Mars Ferox is actually making his singles debut, which you probably should, you probably could have guessed. He is zero and zero, though Hoodley, Hoodley, Hoodlum or Hoodie, but not both. Hoodlum 
Comes in at a 7-5-1. Seven, seven wins, five losses, and one draw. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. This might be Hoodie's first time against someone this big. Normally he's able to just play around with his opponents, but not, not this time. Two mammoths in there. I appreciate the heat is on a quest here, but look at the strength of the horse. Look at this. Have, you, have we ever seen a guy with the... Celery seed and the coleslaw, yeah, dill and the pickles. Wow, stop like it. I'm hungry right now. Now no. no, just ate. We're seeing the whole like old school hoodlum. We're seeing him in all black. Just throw out, out, out with the old, out with the yellow gear, out with the, uh, the theatrics, the, the spitting in the water, out with the... the Shaking hands, hands with the fans. Oh boy. Oh boy. And he's getting man by that man piece over there Mars. Well, this is the this is the hoodlum I like. I like the nasty. I like the nasty hoodlum. You like you like hoodlum getting his butt kicked in the ring? Well, I gotta say Mars really. Right now, he's I don't believe hoodlums ever went up against a guy like Mars. That's true. This man this man is a beast. He's just all power, all velocity. Oh. I, I, I'm actually in awe right now of what I'm seeing. I, I tell you, I haven't been around here in RW that long, but in my time here, I've not seen Hoodlum just manhandled like he is right now. Mars is just like a rag doll. But, but the fight in Hoodlum, you see the fights there. I think every time, wow. Just look at this. Every time oh. that Hoodlum looks at, at Mars, I think he sees Mercury, but he just, He's right now, he's physically helpless. It's true. All right. Man, I'm getting the Mercury Aiden syndrome where everybody wants to talk to me while I'm doing this. I, enjoy, I enjoyed my time yesterday, I guess a little bit too much. How's it going, Jake Husden? We're just uh, running through the Rewind again. The Sunday edition of Rewind. Hey, Hoodie's got a winning record. Hoodie is a, an excellent wrestler. I honestly, uh, this is a tough one. I like both of these guys. Because I normally always bet on Hoodie. But at the same time, look at this guy, Mars Ferox. He's got to be like six foot six, 280 pounds. I don't know, gigantic. Huge boots to the gut. Every time, knocking down. 500 to 2500 is the range. Minimum of 500, maximum of 2500. Those are the new rules. <laughs> But just look at him. Yeah, I know. I know. But just look at him. Just squeezing out all the breath, all the energy out of Hoodlum. And Hoodlum would be fading here to check his arm. Yeah, Hoodlum looks like he's about out of it. This could be it. This could be a short match. There's two. One more, and this match is over. Oh, Hoodlum able to stay in it. Hoodlum with those bag elbows trying to fight out of this bear hug. He does. Oh, can't knock him down and though. Still doesn't. Still can't knock him down. Well, the beast has at least. Nope, he has not fallen yet. But he's out of the ring. But, you know, Mars. Mars was the god of war, the Roman god of war, and it sure in the hell looks like this. This Mars. Oh wait, wait a minute. Oh, what a shot! Wait a minute. The referee didn't see it. Mercury had it just. Down there, knocked off the head of Hoodlum. And Mars, who oh. thinks he's got him set up? Well, and Mars, setting it up. Watch it, incoming! Oh! That huge shoulder tackle that he caused the river sticks. This might be it. Two, wrestling. Nope. All right. I guess the look at him strategy was the right one. But I mean, look at him. Dream Labs, I swear. All right, cool. Well, I will say, though, 
regardless of the, regardless of the interference, Marsh been mighty confident over there, Lilith Grimm. Display, power, and he basically dominated <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you took Miss Dowd's confidence from her. It's a zero sum game, Twitch chat. As you know, this will only anger Hoodlum further. I still hate to be Mercury Yaden if Hoodlum ever gets his hands on him. The Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the only oh, please, establishment both of all in Colorado got plenty of to get professional wrestling training from professionals with ties to major promotions available nowhere else. Founded in 2014 by Mercury Fitness in support of NRW Sports Entertainment and in partnership with Extreme Gym 24-7, the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy offers a training program that focuses on the full professional wrestling experience, including proper fundamentals, in-ring technique, cardio conditioning, and much more. At the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy, you will also have access to Extreme Gym 24-7's facility and the opportunity to attend NRW's bi-weekly live, charged ITV tapings and major events getting up close and personal with world-class talent. If you are serious about becoming a professional wrestler, then the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the place for you. Located at Santa Fe and Oxford inside Extreme Gym 24-7 in Sheridan, Colorado. Danger Dean, and finally the return of the greatest man in RW history, 463 days, oh, yeah. the greatest champion in our history. You know what? I've actually been doing a lot of thinking since Milestone 4. A lot of thinking about how all of you are stupid, smelly, inbred, low-life pieces of human crap. <laughs> Each and every Danger Dean, you. speaking the truth. No, 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 seriously. Do you know how stupid each and every one of you are? Do you not realize that this is my job? My job is to speak and make you react. The more you react after I speak, come on, keep on dancing, puppets. Keep on dancing, morons. Each and every week, I come out here to get a reaction, and like a bunch of morons, you all follow suit. It really is adorable. It really is adorable. Really is adorable. Each and every one of you are. But tonight, Enough of the games. Tonight, the NRW Championship comes back home. It comes back to Radio Land with Danger Dean. And by the end of the night, you will call me the two-time NRW Champion. Lucas Bridewell. Mac, I don't even know your last name because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Tonight, you will call me your champion. Roberto, slap some sense into those phones. Oh, man. Duck Doyle, get your butt out here and return what is mine. You realize I told I told the champion what you guys said about him the last couple of weeks. I, uh, I would like to All right. Sounds like we've got another NRW championship match between Duff Doyle and Danger Dean. Duff Doyle comes in 18 and 6. Danger Dean comes in at 14 and 3. Of course, last time they met, Danger Dean lost this NRW championship to Duff Doyle. But you knew that from listening to it. What's up, Fenris? Thanks for that resub. Two months. I don't like that noise. Not a fan. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Colorado, 
We can go ahead and start getting the bets in. That's for sure. Duff Doyle and Danger Dean squaring off at for the second time for the NRW Championship match. Both former members of D4, the tag team that ruled the first couple of years of NRW. The man in orange. That's what he is. Before you were even introduced to this world, Danger Dean defeated everybody on NRW roster at least once. Well, I Duff Doyle a couple times. Good luck. Ripley Yaden. Billy Seaton, the superstar. Paul Diamond. All of them. Everybody. Danger Dean dominated the scene here in the Rocky Mountain region for the last year and a half. Show oh, some respect. Oh, the TP is already. The TP, that sacred toilet. I don't know, Dishonored. You'll just have to watch and find out. Race Energy wins this one, especially if you click on that link and put in code RMP for 15% off. 15% off of all of that energy. All that energy. Zero carbs, zero sugars, zero crash. All the hydration. Ooh, and hydration is important. Thank you for reminding me. She ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> Someone beat me to the punch. <laughs> Josh Peck. Huge wrestling fan. What a guy. In fact, speaking of Hunter Gray, you know, he, I, I know there still is unfinished business between Hunter Gray and Danger Dean as well. There's a cover. That's a good point. I can't imagine that Danger Dean took what happened to Milestone all that lightly. Now, Roberto, we know you have it in close to Danger Dean. What has he said about Hunter Gray? What is, what is the feeling that he has towards Hunter Gray? Hunter Gray is dead. So it's like he doesn't exist. It's like he doesn't, he's a grateful, spoiled brat. Hunter Gray took all that advice, all the tutorial that Danger Dean offered to him, and let Danger Dean had him carrying his bags. He's completely be honest. Hunter Gray didn't even deserve to be in the presence of greatness. Danger Dean offered him an opportunity to travel with him, learn with him, uh, dine with him, spend time with him. Well, that, that could be disputed, but I, you look at look at this. This is the old Danger Dean. This is a, the back to the aggressive winning all class Danger Dean. You saw that chokehold just a minute ago. He, he's willing to do anything to get that NRW title back. Oh, maybe bust it open here. There, Duff is bleeding, it looks like. I can't, quite, I can't quite tell exactly where the cut is. Let's see again. Through all that, the fighting champion of oh, Duff is... Looks like he's bleeding from the nose. Ah, man. Oh, man. All right, Nerf Herder, you're making me hungry again. I don't appreciate it. All these enchilada and tamale talks. D D Duff definitely does. It is counter shot shot. He does have a Dean has got the momentum in his favor right now, but... Again, you gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out for that trailer hitch. If anybody has the heart to overcome, uh, overcome oh, anything, this this would be the man, Duff Doyle. 
Well, we're all going a little insane day by day, ain't we? Yes. Wow. Using the hold against him to hip toss him right into the middle of the ring, but then danger to right back. I can't, I can't read this one. These two are just too good. Back and forth they go. And, and now he's getting choked out. I mean, it's, it's smart. I have to hand it to Danger Dean. And I guess a limit to you, Roberto Padilla. Danger Dean notices that Duff might be having trouble getting here. Goes in there, chokes him out, trying to wear him down as best he can. And here's that surfboard maneuver coming up. Duff I mean, let's go over. Oh, that, ah. that surfboard. Now we might see Duff Doyle tap. Pulls on the shoulders, works on the back. A lot of extre extremities getting worse. Oh, oh, no. no. Going after the nose. Oh, man. Furthering. Will he not, will he not stoop to any length? has got to be careful. He might have to get a check about that. Who knows what Duff has? Are you, are you, are you insinuating that Duff has some disease? I'm just saying, safety first. You, would you stop? Safety first. I think you should, I think you should run out and get DJ Dean a pair of gloves. Now that. That is a callback. Is it deserved? Uh, that's for people to people to wonder and me to know. So yeah, we'll go to cutting promos right after this. This is the main event. So we'll finish it off here. This crowd showing their appreciation for Danger D. They are not split on Nice neck breaker. Wrenching the neck and then driving it into the canvas. We might see another rain by Danger D. Never mind. Duff just able to kick out. But I can't imagine he can keep this up for long. He has to do something here. Though Duff Dole doesn't look to be in very good shape. Taking token attempts at Danger Dean. Just a little bit of offense, but doesn't do anything to Danger Dean. Danger Dean is in complete control of this matchup. Uh, it looks like he's going to the top. We don't see Danger Dean going to the top very often. This is very uncharacteristic. Oh. 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 That was the only thing Duff could do at this point. Exactly. Threw himself to that rope. And where's Duff? Right in the Dean now? bag. Oh. Look at Duff. No, no, no. Is, he, is Duff going to be able to, to muster up enough strength to get him up? This is going to take everything he's got. Oh, boy. And down goes Daniel Dean hard. That might have been his last ditch effort, but. I don't know who got the worst of that. I don't even. But Duff can't. Duff can't even. He's right him. in position. Duff looks like he might if Duff out. stands up and gets him in that trailer hitch, but I don't know if he can stand. And Nerf Herder, I won't tell you what to do. Sounds like a good idea to me. If either one can answer the tank count, Duff retains. Dean to his feet first. Duff trying to follow, but. Oh. oh exchanging right hands. Oh, down goes Open Duff. palm strikes, it seems. There's that fighting spirit of Duff Doyle. Dean takes over, but Duff looks like he might be on his last legs here. We could be seeing the end of Duff Doyle as champion, but wait a minute. No reverse. No. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, getting the momentum back in his favor is Danger Dean. Now, that's that's what I like to see. Danger Dean has scouted this man. These men know each other. With a total loyalty pot of 4,500, we only got three bets in for this NRW championship match. Come on, get your bets oh, in. Shoulder right into the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We just saw Duff win with a pinfall in a singles match. Relish this, boys and girls. You probably won't see it again. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh! And what a... What a 
poor loser. Danger Dean is. Danger Dean frustrated. Oh, Come on, Dean. And that's it. Hunter Gray laying waste to Duff Doyle. Well, bud, we're going to pass it on over to Jumbo. All right. Who, who will be doing some cutting promos. Sorry I couldn't stay here with everybody for the entirety. It's been a crazy day. Lots going on. Thanks, bud, for holding down the fort for me. Yeah, I do my best, boss. Do a good job. All righty. So... Everybody, uh, uh, I'm going to make sure they're ready to go. Still ready to go? As soon as I go down, you guys are going to pop up? Let me know before I cut the stream. By the way, next live taping, September 26th, coming up here in about three weeks. Oh, yeah. We're it's going to be a fun Saturday. It. Good times, good times. They are ready. All right, bud. You want to take them home? I guess so. For Mercury Aiden and myself, Bud Bellflower, this has been Rocky Mountain Rewind, the Sunday edition. So you can catch us on another edition tomorrow at 10 a.m., bright and early. See you then. Bright and early. We'll see you then. Thanks, everyone.